Uh, Dr. Nicola will join us soon, so we will be having her also on the dais once she comes in. I now request Dr. Akhilesh to please come forward or uh, share it from there also about how he met Gitanjali and how this case was successfully handled at Medica. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. So, as you know, this little girl, um, six years old, she met a terrible accident back in Jharkhand when she was with her parents on a bike. She was hit by a truck from behind. So this was her when we received her. This looked still not that bad, but she had a component of head injury and she was quite young. So we took her for surgery after stabilization. On the dragnet, we saw this as a condition and the worst part was that her eyelids were above from her eye socket. The conjunctiva was uh, torn off. A nasal passage, you can see the two tubes. You can see the tube. So her nasal passage was all uh, evolved from her. You can see the bony part. So after proper deprivement and giving her anesthesia, we took her for surgery. Uh, special care and special prop the big problem was taking care of her conjunctiva, her eyelids, so that it doesn't injure her cornea, which may which would have led her to be blind. Her nasal passage had to be reconstructed so that she can breathe properly. Later on, she doesn't have any issues with breathing. And of course, she's a young girl. We had to take care of cosmosis other than apart from the function. As her half of the face, as you can see in this picture, was evolved. So there are a few ligaments which are attached to the bone. If they are not reconstructed, this whole skin would have fall down, fallen down like an 80 years old baby. So that was reconstructed and here she is. We can all appreciate her smile. This is 15 days post-op once she came and here she is today. Thank you. If there are any questions, I'll be happy to. You can talk. Okay. If you have any questions, I would like to answer. But before that, I'll ask Dr. Amya Mishra, sir, to give a brief on the technicalities of anesthesia, which was very vital in managing this case. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it was really an unfortunate road traffic accident for little Gitanjali and she was uh, on a scooter with her grandfather and uh, there was a uh, four-wheeler which hit the scooter from the back and uh, there was head injury. There was a big skull hematoma on the right side and there was facial degloving injury. The facial muscles were totally aversed and the right lead muscles were aversed with community fracture of the nasal bones and the right zygoma. In the emergency, she was attended by a group of doctors, mainly uh, neurosurgeon, orthopedician, ophthalmologist, maculofacial surgeon, our plastic surgeon, Dr. Patrick Sagrawal, and the pediatrician. The trauma protocol was followed, but uh, her CT thorax, CT cervical spine, CT abdomen, everything was fine, luckily. She was having a chink of blood in the brain, but she was conscious, oriented, and uh, it was decided to go on conservatively to manage. So she was taken into OT in the operation theater. The challenge before the anesthesiologist was there was degloving injury of the face. The total face was swollen. And it was a really difficult to give general anesthesia and to put a tube into the trachea. But it was done uneventfully and 
with the help of our efficient plastic surgeon, Dr. Akhilesh Sardwal, the surgery was going on with the reconstructive surgery and the real challenge was to reconstruct the lead muscles of the right eye. It was around three hours of surgery and everything was uneventful. Patient was shifted to uh, pediatric ICU for management of the pediatric team headed by Dr. Nicola. It was a total uneventful and due to the blood loss during the road trucking accident, we had to give one minute of blood there and uh, everything was uneventful but it was a very challenging case because this is a multi-speciality hospital because all types of surgeons, anesthetists and critical care physicians, pediatricians all are present here and we manage such type of cases very frequently in our hospital. That's why it was possible and patient was uh, discharged after a few days and again patient came back for suture removal under anesthesia. Everything was uneventful and uh, the credit goes to the team of doctors of medical. Thank you. It was a surgical challenge, anesthesia challenge, but the most vital part of the management was pediatric management. These kids have a very small